So I'm joined now by Clayton Ruby. He was the defense lawyer for Guy Paul Morin, the man wrongfully convicted in the death of Christine Jessup. So thank you for joining us. You know, the, the wrongful conviction of Guy Paul Morin is, is clearly one of Canada's, I guess, most notorious miscarriages of justice. So I'm wondering, all these years later, to, to hear the police have named the actual killer, what's, what's the range of things that are going through you now? Mostly it, it, it's relief on behalf of Guy Paul. Um, it's wonderful to be cleared by the Ontario Court of Appeal, um, but that's a legal judgment. And there are people who don't trust the system in the sense that, uh, well, if he didn't do it, who did? So it's wonderful to be able to answer that question and lay to rest anybody who wasn't convinced by the Court of Appeal judgment. We now know who did it. And it wasn't Guy Paul. He did nothing wrong. But he's been fighting to... to preserve that and remind people of that for, for so long. I know. And that's the tragedy of a wrongful conviction. You never recover. Uh, it, it's never the same as it was before. You can't erase those, in this case, years of struggling against a prosecution who says you're guilty and you murdered this little girl and raped her. But the emotional impact of that must be just wonderful for him. And I'm really pleased that this has happened. You know, it's been interesting uh, to hear today that the police say that Calvin Hoover was not on their radar. I gather he was not uh, on your radar either. So I I I'm guessing you are left with a whole lot of questions tonight. Yes. The principal question is, why did it take so long for the police to come up with this technique? It's nothing fancy. It's the checking those databases um, that take your, your ancestry into account and then you find a near relative. But why was it so late? That's been a, an open secret for about five, six, seven years. And in terms of policing and the law, as you look at this case now, uh, what did it change in Canada? I think it, it, it made a huge difference in terms of Canadians' understanding of the justice system. Um, we tend to trust prosecutors who say, convict this man. We have enough evidence to prove his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. And that puts you behind the eight ball if you're an accused person. It's an overwhelming disadvantage that isn't written into the law but exists in a real sense. We trust authority. And I think this case made it clear to people that there are mistakes and that they can be huge and inexplicable. So that it was a more skeptical approach to prosecution claims, and I think that's a healthy thing. It makes us all safer. All right, Clayton Ruby, thank you very much. Nice to talk to you.